Hi there, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Challenge Mode. So I'm uh, still uh, pretty much just a few feet away from where last episode ended. And uh, before I get to the plan for this one, uh, let me just go through the messages very quickly. I received a few while I was uh, fiddling around with the brain dance um, for the uh, paralysis. So let's see. Claire called me. And hey, we just want to say thanks for that last talk. Yeah, no problem. You still sure you want to send off? You want to off Samson? Uh, okay, first of all, let's not uh, exchange incriminating uh, messages over. Uh, I'm not sure over the phone. I'm not sure how uh, um, how secret they really are, and how secure. Um, Elizabeth Perales didn't seem to uh, want to talk business on the phone, and she probably had good reason for that. So uh, I'm not going to do that either. Also, I feel that that's kind of a stupid question because Claire has had a year, a full year, to think exactly about what she wants to do. And so uh, she's not going to change her mind in a few minutes since the com that conversation happened. So don't worry about it. I've got your back. We'll make sure Samson's chewing dirt. Okay, I guess that's not really any less incriminating, but conspiracy right there. <laughs> Thanks, V. Universe about the race. Thanks for opening your view. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. She's probably a little bit nervous. She's been waiting for this chance a long time. <clears throat> Thanks for listening. It means a lot. Yeah, see you around, Claire. You'll be all right. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a vengeance for, um, for Dean. Okay. Job for the nomads. What is this? Search and recover. Retrieve the Militech car purchased by the nomads. A group of nomads decided to run some side business in Night City and bought a stolen Militech SUV from the Valentinos. This happened on my turf, but unfortunately they forgot to ask me for help because they didn't want to cut in a fixer. The Valentinos took the eddies. Excuse me. Slammed their heads against the pavement and told them to screw off. The nomads just want to get what they paid for. The right way this time. Through a fixer. Oh, I see. Their rep Dakota called me and I promised her I would help. The SUV ended up in a Valentino's garage in Well Springs. You need to get it back. Getting back at the Valentino's isn't part of the gig. You let me handle it. Okay, in other words, he wants me to do this quietly. And I have four messages from Takemura. Wow. Hello V. Wakako Wakada. You do not think she will betray us? Uh, I guess I didn't have any response to that or maybe missed the opportunity to respond. Shame. Let's see. Bazaar, Kanzaki Street, Japan Town. You cannot miss it. Okay, that's a nice photo. Bazaar is on the upper level, quite high, so it is worth using the public elevator. I think there are two. The fuck sneaks? <laughs> okay, let's not mock him. Okay, I will. I like Goro. I think I've said that before. He seems like one of the, the very few honorable people inside this, um, inside this city. Okay, now with that done, let's go ahead and call Detective Ward. Let's see what the next step is in untangling. Mrs. Ward, who am I talking to? Mystery Name's surrounding v. the death of the Looking mayor. into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. True. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Oh, what? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. I think I've Be seen that stat. place. Is there... Yeah, there is. There is a bus stop right there. Well, I'm going to try and avoid mentioning the paralysis as the clients um, on this one. As much as I can. It might not be possible in the end. But, um, oh, you know, they hired me. Um, Mrs. Perales in particular seems really worried about, um, you know, my discretion. So I'm going to try and be, you know, prove myself worthy of their trust. But if it comes to it, I will mention them. Because uh, I got the sense that Jefferson Perales does like this guy on account of having worked a few cases with him in the past. Someone here to see you, looks like. Who are you, sir? Detective Harold wow. Han. The River Ward. In the flesh. V, right? My partner. 
Detective Hahn. Okay. Mind if we step off to the side? Hahn and me, we're like one mind. Got no secrets. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here sipping coffee. Listening to gossip. <laughs> Fine. Do what you want. Uh, Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be old. Okay. Detective Han seems like the uh, Talk. voice of caution. I see Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Yeah, sure. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Yeah. Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. Right. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake too. Well, I can tell you that it wasn't so, your boss at the NCPD. Don't worry I about my me mouth, stinging I you. Whose ears are listening. All right. Liz Fine. Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson, the presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. Uh, is he ahead in the race? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. All right. Okay, sure. Even though I just dropped my client's name in a place where the acoustics are too good. So what was the point of that? Couldn't have followed uh, Detective Han's advice from the start? Jace. I'm gonna get my clients in trouble because I talk too much in public places where anybody can hear. Oh, again, okay, it's. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Right. Cybersec. I knew that. Attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Right. Somebody cut him loose. So you saw him as a potential threat. Decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. No, I'm just being Shame. skeptical. Nah. It's not something you see every day. Yeah, exactly. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? Somebody from the NCPD helped him. Someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Yeah. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Perales could just be scared. Well, doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. Would you? Who would? Exactly. I think Perales is gonna try to smear Holt. I'm not sure about that, but let's let's uh, let's get his take. As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. There is that. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. question. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Did you not watch the, the guy BD? was headed there the day he died. I thought this was your investigation. I see. I all I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Honestly, which one is closer? 
Sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Okay, uh... Yeah. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuty meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Psycho muting meds. This is the first time I heard that term used. Is that the uh, bowel peridol or whatever it was called? That I had to retrieve for uh, in one of uh, the gigs R Regina gave me for some Ripper docs. Right, I guess we're done talking, so let's just skip the ride. Good 90% of any detective's job is talking. Ironically, this is where I need to meet Goro. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. Okay. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Got sole it. contact, too, actually. Come I guess on. the guy didn't make a lot of friends. He's walking like he doesn't have a care in the world. Not like Takimura's purposeful, I'm about to shoot you walk. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Okay. Sure. I'm Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Thank you very much. It's the tech on the other side. Can I cut through here? Almost. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. Oh, he got here just in time. Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. <laughs> so where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Paid some time? What for? These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Hmm. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Oh, so we're on your be all detectives. You spook in my Cleon's help. Okay. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. Oh, well, yeah, he definitely didn't make the money here. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. And that's kind of seems Sometimes that way. intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, Somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. 
means nothing, right? Usually, sure. Then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. A guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Not true. Great. Let me handle this, V. Okay. Tiger Claws. Stephen. Died luck. Your boyfriend got sent out for years. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. <laughs> Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Rhine. Oh, wow. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Oh, he actually uh, talked them down. Where oh. are you going? Oh, sorry. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Mom. I think nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. <laughs> I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. Absolutely. You kidding? Gonna ride with me? Yeah. Sure, man. Let's go. Sure, I'll ride with you. Let's get, uh, let's get that info. Back with you so soon? How's your after? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open oh, skies. Oh, we already arrived. Nice. But don't take it from me. My Get guy works here. Enjoy the sun. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. <laughs> I see. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Yeah, it's a little weird. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well. Right. For him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Right. I'm gonna do the uh, right. good cop, then? bad cop routine. I guess I'm good cop. Going in with the carrot and uh, river is gonna be the stick. Probably waiting around the side or something. In, in case this guy bolts. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? I can help with both. Neil. <laughs> yeah. Looking for a club. Ray Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or clouds in Japan town. Been to both actually. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. Means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. Oh, I cannot. I can go after him. That's uh Glass here? Oh, it can be broken. Oh, Fuck. there we hey, go. Hey, Neil. Oh. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Ooh. Nothing to see here, sir. <laughs> the guy's Come like... on, ghost, I said. <laughs> Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talked to us. Probably sounds a little and hollow. This will truly after be his... the last time Detective Ward will after visit. his experience. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. I actually believe that. Outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. 
You got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. Shut it all down. Shut it down. Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. All right. Sorry for the uh, the broken shit luck. for the broken window there. Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. All right. Coming with? Of course. Sure. Thanks. Let's uh, see this thing through ah, to the end. Shit. Uh, that's my uh, my relic kills me before that. So the pieces are slowly starting to uh, to fall in place. It seems that Mayor Ryan was indeed murdered. The cyber psycho Peter Horvath was the first uh, attempt, and when that failed, somebody obviously went to a lot of trouble, a lot of cybernetics, uh, and uh, yet the guy couldn't get the job done, on, probably on account of his cyber psychosis, inability to plan, you know, things like that. Even though he did have some someone backing him, that um, that malfunction of the. Um, of the security terminal really seemed like a very strange, very convenient coincidence. And um, and when that failed, I guess they um, they tried a second time. The mayor did mention uh, to his deputy that, um, or rather, the deputy I think uh, said to to the mayor that uh, he got the usual room reserved or something to that effect meaning the mayor frequented this place, Red Queen's Race. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. All right, sure. Okay. Into the warehouse. So, the animals are here? This isn't usually their turf, right? This is around the outskirts of... Uh, of Westbrook. So this is uh, Tiger Claw territory. Animals are usually all the way uh, here in Pacifica. And the club is not really working. It's been closed, the informant said. Neil. Oh. What's up? I guess I'm just going to be on comms. Oh, and Claire sent me a text. Hey, Life Race is going down on the highway. Whole city will be watching. Starting the lines in Charter Hill overlooking North Oak. Flicking the cords. Call me when you get there. Yeah. Can't wait. Sounds a little weird considering we're planning on murdering somebody. Maybe that's the wrong level of enthusiasm for that task. I don't know. Claire has probably been looking forward to this moment for a long time. So I'm just trying to, you know, be there for her. Okay. 1C55, that's easy. Let's see what we can see through the cameras. Combat stem. Let's ping. And a few. Oh, another device. What? I cannot mark these guys for some reason. Okay, there's a dumpster right there. Possible side entrance. Raptor with the combat stem. I'm not gonna be breach protocoling these guys just yet. Barbed wire on the fence, except for one section missing right there. And I guess that's the front gate, so if I come around, I might be able to sneak in here. Okay. It's another view of the yard. Okay, there was another person patrolling around here, but I didn't mark them in time. few dumpsters. Okay, here we go. Wow, this place is a mess. 
He's just been trashed. I'm guessing the animals might have something to do with that. Did they trash the place or were they working security for the place and something else happened inside? I mean, they seem to be guarding it at the moment. If they weren't working security before, what the heck are they doing here now? Why just calmly hanging out like... Like they were, they are in no, absolutely no hurry to leave. As if they own the place, essentially. Alright. Can I get through here at all? Oh, what is this? Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. Well, I don't know about that. No entry. Okay, that door just opened by itself. There is a camera up there. Just go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so I was able to bypass the front gate. Oh, there is the guy I couldn't mark. And he has brake hold. Actually, there's another guard right there. Right, time for breach protocol. 1C, 1C, 5, 5. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys here. Gotta be careful. Okay, so the one inside the guardhouse is basically stationary. There's all kinds of people patrolling all over the place. This guy's patrolling as well. I could distract him, but I couldn't grab him right there. What about... Yeah, I should go check that out. Oh, he didn't hear that, did he? No, I don't think he did. That is slightly unfortunate. Oh, is he coming in here? No. Okay, nothing interesting there. Okay, so he patrols over there. Oh, there is another guard up there. <laughs> yeah. Just nice and quiet. Right inside the crate. Okay. The windows in that van for no reason. Now, she also does not have a brake hole, right? Well, guess what? There is room in this crate for one more person. And I guess you're the lucky one. To all, rest of today and tomorrow off from Francis Delgado to Garage Security. We gotta close down early, already send the guests home, rest of the staff will be out soon. I'm waiting for a few people at the moment, but one thing, when they come, send them right to me downstairs, then go straight home. Let the garage know they got the day off tomorrow, all of them. Be in touch when the sitch clears up, sit tight for now. So something happened. Let's just turn those off, I think I'm pretty sure I already cycled through the cameras. Technical ability insufficient. What a surprise. So I guess this place functions as a garage most of the time. That's the cover. And then the club is maybe underneath it. Okay. 
cameras are off. I just could have come through there as well. Interesting. Can any of these be opened remotely? I don't think so. Okay, so another way to get in there would have been pretty sure that would require a double jump or something. That's something that I don't have access to. They're standing right next to a uh, a dumpster. What's the point of all these laptops being around if you can't actually get anything useful out of them? Alright, so I've got patrols back and forth. Technical ability 5 required to get in there. Or potentially some kind of a double jump. You can actually. Feels like I should have been able to grab that, but maybe not. No. Okay. That's fine. So that guy patrols from there to over here. He comes and stands like right there, which is perfect. The dumpster. He's got to be a little patient. Actually, maybe he patrols to another location. Yeah. Unfortunately. Whoa. Unfortunately, cannot um, get in from there. No. There's a railing there. That does not seem to be something I can grab onto. But might as well keep trying, right? No. Okay. He's on his way back, so I'm just going to wait until he gets in position by the dumpster. And I'm going to neutralize him. Hopefully he won't spot me here. Ooh. Oh, that's a little close. Okay, he can occasionally see me through the space between the two crates. Oh, okay. So just wait a little. Come on, buddy. Don't got all day. Not smoking a cigarette. That's bad for your health. You smoke a cigarette and sometimes you end up in a dumpster right after. Related? I think so. Yeah, break hole is not much good when you're standing right next to a, a dumpster or a crate, one of those things. Alright, let's take a look, see. Okay, so this is the garage. Let's just ping this. There is somebody patrolling right there. Separate network too. E9551C. E9551. That's easy. Oh, Looks person. like a normal right body there. shop to me. Clubs. Clubs here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. You're telling me you got a hunch. Cop intuition. Something like that. Okay. So, got multiple levels. This leads to the section that I couldn't get into on account of my 
technical ineptitude. Right. Just a few random, mostly junk items. Ooh, technical ability. Insufficient. No! Somebody patrolling up here. Where the heck did they go? Oh, there we go. There's somebody right there. One C five five seven A. One C. Just hide behind it. Oh, there's another guy right there. And has break hold. Careful. Should have been paying more attention to this guy's uh, patrol route. I think he's gonna stop halfway to the crate, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. And not being certain is a bad thing. Alright, let's just not take a risk. We both have it. This guy walks around, takes a look here and there. Okay, so he has break hold, meaning don't mess with him. Just drop him immediately. And put him inside the same crate as his uh, as his body. system. Oh, is the cameras already look through. Right, uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. This was definitely working as a garage, that much is clear. I could have actually bypassed all of the security, I think, and just climbed right in there. Whoa! There's somebody still patrolling out there. Oh, crap. Well, that's bad. Or not, they stopped right when they got to the end of this place. What the fuck? Yeah, don't worry about it. So I guess this place was mostly secured uh, thanks to its anonymity. Doesn't seem like it was that hard to, uh, to get into. I mean, plenty of uh, holes in walls and whatnot. 
ladders, I mean, sections of the, of the fencing just missing, like over here and here. I think I actually saw this already. No, I cannot climb up there. Unfortunately, that was a, a one-way uh, trip in my case because I don't have double jump. And that height requires it. But you can, oh, you can get up on the roof. Yeah, from the roof, get back in there. I don't think I looted that stuff right, right below. Yeah, right here. I'm just being thorough. Technical ability. If you have it, you can just walk right in here. There's not a single guard except that guy. But he only, he only goes to the corner, so. Oh, and this is that section that I tried and, and failed to, uh, to jump up to. Okay. And back inside the building we go. All right, so I think everybody on this level and the lower level right, has been successfully neutralized. I think I did see somebody on the lower level. Question is, how do I get there? Elevator, possibly. A lot of empty crates for how few, um, for how few of the animals are actually here. So I guess this place has two defenses. One, it's secret, and two, it's kind of labyrinth. A lot of ways that you can uh, explore and sort of get lost in here. Oh, kind of, right, here we go. Fancy lock. Stairs inside, <laughs> clever. Four levels down too. Okay. I guess technically three levels down. Minus one to minus four. And obviously downstairs awaits a big mess. The question is how many how many baddies are there going to be here? Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up. Whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? On C7A. Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Somebody's even asleep there. Okay. Quite a few, uh, quite a few baddies in here. finished their conversation have started patrolling as a result force open only requires body of two because the other option is to walk straight in here
question is, I'm going to be storing the bodies. Air conditioning. Yeah. Take a look at that. I don't even. Let's focus on neutralizing these guys first and foremost. Oops. Huh? Kind of stopped sneaking there for a second for no reason. Cool. Fridges and a freezer. Perfect. place really just got trashed. Oh. Keep kicking empty soda cans. Also does not have break hold. Alright buddy. So it looks to have been a fairly luxurious location once upon a time before the animals got here and they trashed the place in an attempt to hide something. That makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, there's a door that I could have forced open, but it's not necessary. That was not much of a hole, but I'm not going to complain. A little bit extra money is good. Now, just keep clearing this place floor by floor of everything that is not nailed down. What do we have here? Okay, that's, uh... Whoa! So obviously there are some people that I have not managed to mark. Let me ping off of this one and see if I can. Yeah, here we go. Look at this, that person right there. So this one appears to be sleeping. Corporal thieves must die. Okay. I guess the animal scrolled that. Combat stem. Oh, Third experience for knocking out a person that was sleeping. Oh, there's a fridge right there. I need to get him to the second floor. All right. Can I use this as a distraction? Let's see what's crawling around. Yes, I can. I love refrigerators and, and freezers. Combat stem. Oh, 
this one is actually full. Oh, jeez. How did I manage that? Never seen a fridge that was full before. They were all very conspicuously empty, as if uh, knowing that their ultimate fate was to hold a bandit for a few hours. This was like the kitchen area. It seems rather small for a club this size. Technical ability. What is the point of that door? Doesn't it just connect to the same area as the one that doesn't require technical ability? That's kind of strange. Alright, there we go. Technical ability 3. That was easy. Okay. There's some loot in here, but eh, it's Eddie's. That leads to the kitchen. Okay. This is locked. Okay. Who's this guy? Raptor. Let's just reboot his optics. I don't want to risk it. What? Uh, but I cannot grab him. Hmm. Okay. It is the D wreath. Okay, this is always some kind of a VIP area. The world renowned singer and artist is due to visit Night City soon. Tickets will only be available for purchase to those with a credit rating above 700. For all of Lizzie Wizzy's other fans, the concert will be done. There we go. Weird. Yes, that is kind of weird. Definitely check it out. Several weeks ago? Why are they why are they reporting it just now? It's kinda weird. Here I am investigating his death and they're reporting as if it just happened. All of this damage would have taken a while to um to create. Even for a few of the animals. I mean they they seem very physically imposing, but still. This is not something that would take a few hours, probably take a few days at least. That for whatever reason. Okay, somebody's sleeping there. Raptor. Why can I not grab this person? Oh, they're sleeping. Oh. Come on. I guess a few of them were kind of tired after destroying the place, so they decided to take uh, naps. Or maybe they've been here for so long that they're actually taking turns guarding the place and sleeping, but what are they waiting for? I mean, surely after they erected, their job was done. What else was there to do? boss might uh, shed some light on the situation. Look for the office incapacity in the boss. Is that the boss right there? Undertaker. Break hold. Alright. I don't want to risk her becoming aggravated when I open the door. Looks like an office. So and I start having the conversation comps are what she we want. Why? Comps above oh. all. Yeah. Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. She has break hold. How am I but holding hey, her? You might be here in the day you die. Joking, joking. <laughs> Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it. We're fucking way 
Satan! What for? for what? Yeah. Till they sent us the scratch for a job well done! Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? Yeah, you did. We done our bit! Time for the pay up! Who hired you? Who'd you smash it up for? What's it to you? Might be able to speed up your payment. Shit! The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow Scott like that? I guess that was the wrong option. Digging for some dirt on the same guy. Yeah, I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him. If I get him, you'll get what you're owed. First, I gotta know we're talking about the same ass munch. Well, then, oh! Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fuckhead for the job! Thanks for the help. Alright, here we go. Whew, that was close. That interrogation should not have been possible. <laughs> she has break hold. Alright. Actually, I I don't I, I don't have to carry her anywhere because I think uh, I don't think there are any other animals left standing. Nobody to see the cheese. Oh, okay, that's that is a little weird. Check the computer. Okay, so Weldon Holt sent the animals. It's kind of weird that he did that. He hired them in person so they know who they're working for. Not very smart, Mr. Holt. Let's see, security protocol from Francis Delgado to RQR, Red Queen Ray staff, staff. The club's getting more popular, we're getting more and more VIPs. Goes without saying that's a good thing, but it doesn't mean we can let our guard down. Just yesterday, an unidentified person managed to break into the club and spent upwards of 20 minutes inside before anyone noticed. Unacceptable, let me reiterate. Don't talk about the club, no invitation, no entry. Report any suspicious persons to security. Don't talk about the club. And again, don't talk about the club. Okay. Okay, fight club. Mutual friend. Today's visit from Weldon Holt. This guy does everything in person. He signs his uh, emails with his name. He, um, he hired the animals himself. I mean, our friend wants to visit the club tonight. Okay, so that'll be Lucius Ryan. He's a bit shaken after today's incident. That's probably the attack that I saw in the BD. So please don't disturb him. We'd like a private room. Something cozy. Intimate. <clears throat> sure thing. Okay. Important read now. Francis Delgado to Weldon Holt. Weldon. Um, <clears throat> stuff's uh, screwed six ways to Sunday. Ryan might be dead. I mean, pretty sure he's definitely dead. He came here, went straight, straight to his booth. Nobody besides him swear to God. But after five hours, I was like, what the hell? Usually only stays for two. So I go in to look and screw me, the guy's flatlined. What am I supposed to do now? Do nothing. Wait for my people. Until then, nobody goes in the club. Get the customers, get the staff out of there. Trap shut all of them. Tell them it's a gas leak, pest control, bomb threat, whatever. <clears throat> okay, I already re read this one. This was on the computer outside. Scratch, where is it? From Queen Hyena to Weldon Holt. Holt, we got the file you wanted. Smashed up the rest. Couldn't smash it more if we tried. Where's the eddies? Peep starting to mumble we could we could have got more from someone else. Much more. So where is the freaking scratch? Hold. The file. What file? Recording camera something. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. Detective Han? That's no. Rivers Park. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. TT trauma team. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Is that Coach of Fred? Nobody will see him. No way. Yep. I don't look to be yes. dressed the same way. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? 
You mean Han? Yep. Your yeah, partner. him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. And we're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Go network surveillance system. Yeah, it's already off anyway. Queen Hyena. So, it seems like the camera was recording at this booth right here. Yeah. What happened? What is this? BD headset. So it was a virtual experience that flatlined them? Wait, is that going to flatline me? Great, that was probably a bad idea. Shit! V! You okay? V! Come on. You hear me? Breathe. Did I just have a heart attack? Oh. What are you doing here? I thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? You asked me. Won the heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Our oh, BDs can actually Fuck. kill. Wow. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Yeah. Okay. Let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Yeah, I think I got everything I needed. So it seems that after the cyber psycho um, failed to kill Ryan, he came to the club where they got him with a virus spiked BD. And Detective Han cleaned up the whole mess. So he was probably acting on Holt's orders, I'm guessing. Or was it Holt that uh, spiked Fuck. the BD? He might have. Who else would have access to the security terminals during the time the Cyber Psycho uh, attacked? Question is, why? Just to Still get his job? With this punk? Oh, Shot it, Harold. Working for somebody. I know somebody. what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I'm not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. <laughs> v. Appreciate the help. But I didn't want to side with that guy. I'll take care of it. How are you going to do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be, but it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even got to say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I got to take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. <laughs> he really doesn't seem worried, does he? Fuck. <sighs> Should have shot him. He was right, sort of. Yeah, what are you gonna do? So, what now? Won't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. 
The king is dead. Long live the king. Leave it. <laughs> Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Maybe. Nah, it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that. Not quite. So what happened? Don't know. Just feel like this goes deeper than you, me, Han, and Holt. We'll probably never know who was behind all this. I'm thinking Holt might have been Taking a puppet. This to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Mm. Do it. Yeah. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Oh, they hired yep. me. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. All right, man. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. Okay. We'll be waiting. Ooh, luxury apartments. It seems to me that this whole thing is a bit sophisticated for for Holt to orchestrate. More like I get the sense that he is a a high placed puppet for somebody. Maybe for a corporation. I mean who knows? Oh use the intercom, right? Of course, can't just barge in there. Upstairs. Yeah, I figured. Thanks. Can buzz me in? I mean, the guy basically doesn't appear to be Just smart enough tell you one thing. to keep his own name out of it. Probably gonna be more than one. <laughs> but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Oh, it's in general. In if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not going to pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you got to eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Yeah, we're alike in that sense. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Okay. Nice place. Roomy. A lot of security. Please have a seat. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Hey. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yep. Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Well done, Holt. No, no idea. Police are on it. I really don't have any idea. That I didn't manage to figure out. I see. Either way, you risked your life. Yeah, inadvertently. That's enough information for us. More than enough. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Glad I could help. Where did we leave off? I'm wondering if I missed something at the club, maybe something pointing to the source of the virus spike BD. Holt could have done it, but again, the guy doesn't seem to be able to keep his own name out of it. 
leaving his fingerprints everything on everything. So I, I don't <clears throat> I don't see him as as the person that's ultimately behind this. I think that would require more cunning than he seems capable of. Now sure he's in a position of power, so maybe it's just hubris. He believes himself untouchable. But I mean I don't know. The last news I saw um, seemed to indicate that the Jefferson Perales actually was in the lead. So, I mean, if Holt doesn't become the next mayor, then what position of power is he in, really? All right, head to the big race and give me danger. So those are the quests that I absolutely want to do in next episode. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.